Hey everybody, Lisa Young Sutton here with another video for you and today I'd like to share how you can lay grand tableaus for daily readings. So you're probably thinking why would I want to do such a thing? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll give you two, two really good reasons. Um, number one is if you want to become a tableau reader, you have to start reading tableaus and reading them a lot. I did that. Um, I started, you know, when I decided that I wanted to master the grand tableau or tableau style reading in general, I started laying boxes and grand tableaus for everything. Anytime I wanted to, you know, get out uh, my cards and lay three or five cards, instead I laid a box or a grand tableau and I started using them for dailies and that is you know, how I got um, really, really comfortable with uh, with all of these cards in front of me and learning how to how to manipulate a tableau because it's it's um, a skill that that you need to develop you know you have to get used to looking at all these cards and and training your eyes and your mind to just focus on what's important and and uh, to look for think of this as a map you know you're looking for connections and correlations okay so before you do this there there are a couple things you have to consider you have to decide on your theme right are you seeking spiritual guidance for that day that's very often my daily is you know what does the universe want me to focus on today um, you might have something going on at work so you're going to focus on work now you need to know what cards represent your life area so you need to know your work card you need to know your health card if you're asking about health um, if you're asking about your child, you know, you, are you going to use the child card or you're going to assign um, the partner card to the child, you know, um, you can do that. Um, school, I use book, um, but you know, you have to know your school card. Okay, you know what I'm going, where I'm going with that. Um, you need to know your relationship card. Um, this is already in a relationship, the ring, um, a new love interest, or just a, 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 you know, an object of your heart would be heart. Okay, so once you decide on what your theme is, you're going to shuffle your cards and lay your grand tableau. Now, because it takes me a while to shuffle the cards for a grand tableau, because normally I pick random cards, so shuffling's not a big issue for me. I, I can just smush them all around on the table and um, I'm just drawing random cards. But in a grand tableau, I'm using every single card, so I do shuffle for quite a while. And what I do is while I'm shuffling, right, while I'm shuffling those cards, I'm thinking about all this. That's when I'm putting setting all my intentions let's put it that way i'm deciding who's who and what i'm going to look for and that kind of thing all right so what you're going to be doing is looking only for the cards of your theme you're going to always look for your card you want to know where it falls what falls around it um, houses are secondary information um, unless you are doing a specific house reading, and that will be a video coming up where you can just um, really focus on those houses. In fact, maybe I'll make that one next. Oh, I shouldn't say that in case I don't. But anyway, okay, <laughs> forget I said that. All right, so you're looking for your card, where it lands, what lands around it. You're looking for your theme cards and how they connect to each other, okay? That is your primary goal here. So, let's look at, I have two examples for you. Now this one, when I wrote it down, just in case I forgot, because I already did, what was this? All right, so now in this one, I, I really had no specific question or life area other than I asked, let's see, what, wait, hang on, I asked, okay, here it is. What should I focus on and put my energy toward today for my best and highest good and that of all who I may, may encounter or influence. All right, so that's, that's my usual um, spiritual daily, we'll call it, right? So I'm just asking for what I should focus on. So did I have any specific card I was looking for? No, really, I was looking for my card. 
other than, because I'm asking about focus, right? And where I should focus my energy. Now there's two cards right there. There's the star and the sun. Okay, sun is where I'm gonna put my energy. Star is what I wanna focus on and bring clarity to and what is, you know, what path I wanna start taking shape, you know, working on, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so let me just read this. Ooh, all right, so as you can see, I land right here in the middle of the spread. And I did notice right away that I landed in garden because garden is at my back, which really made that um, jump out at me, right? Also garden lands in tower. Now, I have to say that the context of this is that it was one of my days off and being a natural introvert um, on my days off, because my, the rest of my week is, is typically so hectic and uh, dealing with a lot of people through my, my business and everything, on my day off, I typically like to just close myself away in my house, in my ivory tower, right? And just, I, I just read and write and just, you know, focus on my little introverted self. But the cards were clearly saying that I should come out of myself that day, right? Because like, I got garden and towers, like get out of your ivory tower and expand yourself, get, get out there, you know, interact with others, that kind of thing. And the fact that I land in that house just confirmed that. Now, like I said, I, I was also considering the cards of the stars and the sun. So the next thing I look at is where do they land? Well, I look right here and I see that the stars landed in sun. So that's significant. So that led me to see that sun is, is above me in house. Okay, so this is about my personal life, putting energy into my personal life, right? That's the path, that's the clarity and the focus, right? Now, I wanted to then look at the house of stars and I see ring. Well, that leads me right to who falls underneath me. My husband who lands in his own house, that makes him very significant. So what lands in my house? Clover, okay? Clover, what's in clover? Mountain. I am right next to mountain. Mice is in mountain. Now what's in mice? House. Are you seeing what I'm doing here? Now I came back to house, which leads me back to sun, which leads me back to stars, which leads me to my husband, okay? So, what was this telling me? That I need to focus on putting my energy into my personal life regarding nibbling away at any challenges, barriers, anything I've been delaying, stress, right? This is, this is like nibbling away at, you know, life's challenges, you could say, okay? And I'm going to look for little opportunities to do that. All right. So that worked out very well because actually um, I, I changed my normal routine for the middle of the week. I rather than just focusing on myself, I focused on my my husband and how can I help him get rid of his stress? I mean, he works a lot. He is a very hardworking man. And he really doesn't bring his problems home to me. He's, he's very, he keeps them to himself. Now that's not very healthy, is it? But um, yeah, no, we, we decided to, uh, we had like a date night, it was great. And we decided to do it every week. And it's, it's been wonderful. And I can't thank the cards enough for suggesting that. So that's how that played out. So I hope you kind of followed along with that and you know, watch it a gazillion times because that's what I used to do with videos. I would watch them over and over and over until I figured out what they were doing. All right, now here's the other one. All right, so this one, let me see if this is in focus. Yeah, it is, okay. Here, let's put, the, okay. Let's put these little things around. My little fairies, look my little fairies. Okay. All right, this one, this was for a friend of mine. Um, she's actually learning to read Lenormand cards from me. So she's also a student. And 
we did this together so that she could start practicing dailies using a grand tableau. Now she did have a question for this. She was starting a new creative writing class that day. So she wanted to know how her new creative writing class would go. So she decided that book was perfect for the class also because it's a writing class. The teacher is a man and here's her. Okay, so that is all we wanted to focus on. But we wanted to also leave ourselves open to anything that drew our attention. And things did right away. And we were doing this, this reading together. Tag team reading is great, by the way. It's, it's a lot of fun. And if you, um, if you find someone you can do it with, especially live, you know, like the two of you in the same room together looking at this, it's, it's amazing what you can come up with. Anyway, all right, so she sees that she's down here, okay? And, you know, she's, she's in, the, in the last row, really, you know, other than the fate line, right? So she's at the bottom, but the teacher is up here. And the first thing she noticed was that teacher was in Fox, okay? So then we look to um, his house and we see Fox. So you're like, oh no. <laughs> so right away she's thinking, I am not gonna like this guy. Something's wrong here. So that was her first impression, but she, she saw that she was in sun. So this is the card of, it is a, or the house rather, it is a house of success, but it's, it's really a house of energy, you know, where you wanna put your energy in order to, to find that success, right? So, and she had bouquet on her head, and you know, these, these two cards are very much telling her to, you know, calm down, right? You're not going anywhere yet. Don't make up your mind yet. You know, yes, it's going to be challenging, but here, this was very important, change of heart. And I know this came up in another reading I, it, from one of my videos because this actually comes up for me a lot when there's going to be a change of heart. So, all right, we're thinking, all right, so right away, she's not going to, going to like him at first, right? Now also notice that mountain is in paths, right? So, I mean, think about that. The mountain is landing in paths. And, and here we have scythe and mountain. This is like cutting your way, cutting a path through a mountain, right? So this is about solving a challenge, getting over a challenge, right? And because we have change of heart here and we have like getting over a challenge, I wanted to know where the story starts. So right away, you can see the first three cards, right? We have snake, coffin, and here's our crossroads, right? tying into this. So she knows that at first she's going to think, oh man, you know, I've been deceived. I'm not going to like this class at all. And she's going to want to bail, right? She's going to want to, you know, bury that, that opportunity in the coffin and send it away. But here in, in where her journey is heading, we have going a different way. And that brings us back down here, okay, which sits right under man and, look, it sits right in between. Here's man and man and fox, fox and man, and what's in between is is uh, working your way, finding a way through this challenge. Okay, so putting all that together, what I told her is that you're probably not going to like him right away, but this is not a lost cause. Okay. And, and also ring and house is telling her to stay committed to in, in her personal life, okay? And remember, all these cards are relating to, any cards we decide to look at are relating to our theme. So the theme of her personal life is this class right now. And this is also asking her to stay committed. Oh, and, and of course, we look down in the house of ring and we have house. So we have another crisscross, just like this is a crisscross, right? Here we have another one. House and ring, ring and house. So stay committed. Okay, so long story short, that's exactly what happened. She, she got to the class and um, she, she didn't like him right away. And she thought, oh my gosh, you know, she just didn't like the way he spoke. She had a hard time following him, um, understanding what he was really getting at, understanding even like where he wanted to take the class, you know, that kind of thing. And, um, but I, I, you know, I didn't even mention the, the, the book. Okay. Right. Because that's kind of important, isn't it? All right. So book, 
lands, you know, above her head and it's in her, her card of strength. All right. So it's in her card of, of you know, persevering and, and protecting what she started and, and where to put her strength. And now what lands in book but stars, okay? Now, I couldn't help but notice that book landed next to stars and what's in stars but letter, you know, for communication and for writing. <laughs> right. So this, again, was all saying, you know, stay committed to this, right? Stay committed to this and put your strength into this because you're going to have a change of heart because this guy who may seem like a fox now, you know, you're going to nibble away at that, at his iciness and you're going to find a, you're going to find a path, you know? So that is what happened. She, she stuck it out. She didn't like him initially, but I think, um, after the third class, she was loving it, you know, and she saw the benefit in it and she, um, she's, she's still in that class actually, but she's, I think it's part two now or something. Anyway, she's following through. She's still with this teacher and it all worked out. So there you go. There are two examples of how to perform uh, daily readings with grand tableaus. And there are more. And like I said, the house one, I will do that video um, because that is a really easy one. That, that one is actually in my book. So in fact, I think I'll do that next and I'll even show you my book because I actually have one now. Well, I have many. Okay, so what cards are these? These are the 1889 Lenormand. Okay, I love these cards. Like, you know what? Like one of the cutest things about these cards is the box. Come on, look at the box. I, I just, I love the box. Okay, and, and the... Um, the other one, the first one I did was Sweet and Pastel. It, you know, this came in a plain box, so I just wrote on it. Sweet and Pastel by R. Williams. And I don't think that's Robin Williams. Anyway, so there you go. Any comments or questions, please write them below or message me, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.